Offenders with automatic weapons have our streets under siege, often with more potent weapons than police. Some of the guns homemade are altered with devices that turn legal handguns into illegal machine pistols, transform neighborhoods from the city and suburbs into kill zones. This was the sound of rapid-fire gunshots described by witnesses in Willowbrook at a mass shooting there in June. The sound of urban warfare from city centers to suburban shopping malls and even rural towns. The common trigger point, lawbreakers now armed with guns intended for law enforcement or frontline soldiers. How much worse is it right now than when you started the job. So it's it's a lot worse. We're seeing an alarming rise in machine gun conversion devices. Christopher Ammon has been a federal agent for 18 years and is newly installed as special agent in charge of the ATF Chicago Field Division, the agency that is working to slow a surge in automatic weapons use. Four years ago, this was not an issue for law enforcement. Early on in my career, rarely if ever, did you see machine guns being used in violent crimes? And now it's everywhere on our streets. They're being used in shootings. Uh, these shootings are becoming, uh, we're having more victims. They're becoming deadlier because you're able to get off, in some cases, 30 rounds in a matter of seconds. This is what he's talking about and help demonstrate for the I-team, a fully automatic pistol that will fire continuously as long as the trigger is pulled. This essentially um, switches it from semi-auto to full auto. A pocket-sized submachine gun, nearly an idiot-proof killing machine. Lawbreakers are taking regular semi-automatic handguns requiring a trigger pull for each bullet to be dispensed and installing this tiny and illegal metal or plastic switch that transforms them into full auto, producing an automatic weapons crime wave. They're up nationwide 561 percent between 2018 and 2021. This 20-year-old Oak Forest man now charged by the feds with selling 25 machine gun conversion kits. Anthony Prisco being held here at the Chicago MCC without bond after pleading not guilty. ATF teams in Chicago trained to deal with these weapons of vast destruction in the hands of mostly untrained criminals. Essentially the same power as a, as a Tommy gun in a pistol. A majority of them are coming from overseas, uh, places like China, Russia. You can also 3D print them. It is an absolute threat not only to our law enforcement officers, citizens of Chicago. It just means that, again, we're facing firepower that we in a lot of cases have never faced before on the streets. After the Al Capone days, machine guns were rarely used in crimes until lately. For example, one recent 24-hour period. Looking at uh, shot spotter data, there were 13 fully automatic weapons shot in our neighborhoods in Chicago. 13 in the past 24 hours. That's how often these are being fired. And I go back to conducting a traffic stop and you may not know anything about the individual you're facing and that person has a Glock with a 30 round magazine that can unload that mag magazine in less than two seconds in your direction. I would call that outgunned, no matter what type of weapon you're carrying. Ammon tonight says his top priority as the new head of ATF Chicago is retaking streets now under siege, interrupting automatic weapon use here. He aims to reduce the number of those illegal guns and components landing on the streets and arresting those who traffic and use them. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.